World War II veteran and South Florida resident who never received his medals after the war is finally being decorated for his service to our country today. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live in Miami with this touching story. Glenna. What a great morning we had, JC. We got to spend a little time with a man who is part of American history, who actually made American history. His name is George Barquette. He is a World War II Navy vet. And the reason he never got his medals is because he never asked for them. His family, though, did. And Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton's office and her staff, they made it happen. The combat action ribbon, the discharge button, we want to give Thanks to you for your noble service to our country, uh, standing up for the principles that we hold dear. Medals and ribbons and honors 60 plus years in coming. And after spending a few minutes with World War II veteran George Barquett, you will realize he wants these honors for his family. That the horrors of war and the meaning of his service on the naval destroyer Hazelwood fighting the Imperial Japanese Army is never far from his mind. During the war, and, and as I said, we thought we were fighting to end all wars. After discharge in 1946, Marquette came back to Miami. He was in his early 20s. He ran a grocery in Miami. He raised a family, and it was that family who requested to receive the honors Marquette never did. We studied his military records. It's truly amazing of the battles that he was in and bombing Okinawa and the battles of the Leyte Gulf and liberation of the Philippines. I guess not many people can say uh, their grandpa's as cool as mine. Uh, <laughs> he destroyed sub submarines, airplanes, uh, Japanese. Some two weeks after Barquette's discharge, the USS Hazelwood was bombed by Japanese kamikaze pilots. 67 of his shipmates were lost. It was a great honor for me to serve in the United States Navy in a boarded destroyer, which is called a tin can. There's nothing like a tin can. Once a tin can sailor, always a tin can sailor. I venture to say there is a large segment of the population, JC, who had no idea that a huge naval destroyer is called a tin can. You know, Barquette actually has more medals coming from the Philippine government, but the Philippine embassy in Washington is snowed in or something, so those are a little slower in coming. So, Glenna, he just never asked for the medals or it wasn't important to him back then? How did that get lost in the translation? Well, I think here's what one of these guys, he's such a, a humble, sweet man. I think he was discharged. He came back. He was interested in starting a business and raising a family, and that kind of wasn't on his mind. Now his family starts to find out and listen to his stories and what an incredible part of history he can provide. They said, wait a second, that's his legacy, and so there they are. Wow, and his grandkids are very, very proud of him. What a great story. Thanks, yeah. Glenna.